This is our Super Bowl. All hands on deck. From the mayor to any everybody else working. This is one of the, the secrets, and this is what the, the old school folks, they know what you gotta do. A porta potty on the back of a pickup truck. In my opinion, there's no city in the United States of America on the world like Savannah, Georgia. With our um, most humble and sincere congratulations and best wishes on a 200th uh, celebration of Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade. Hey, get out! No, it's over. Game over. We are right now just minutes away from the 200th anniversary of Savannah's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Good morning, everybody. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Solkowski. Yes, this day always special, but this year extra special. You just said it. It is the 200th anniversary of Savannah's St. Patrick's Day Parade. And I tell you what, we've been out and about all morning long. This may be one of the largest crowds we've seen in quite some time. And we will be out here live start to finish the entire parade as we have been all morning long. We are going to have complete team coverage for you this morning, getting every sight and sound along that parade route, heading out to the iconic Savannah's Leopold's Ice Cream Shop and, of course, up at the Pooler St. Patrick's Day Festival. We also have Lydia Blackstone. She's out roaming the parade route. We're going to get to her in just a couple seconds. But first things first, we want to talk about this parade because yeah. this is truly Savannah's day to shine. This is is when we leave everyone green with envy and just last week just days leading up to the parade I had a chance to catch up with a guy who knows a thing or two about the Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade former Grand Marshal Father Patrick O'Brien and I tell you what he sums up the true meaning behind this parade take a listen Savannah the St. Patrick's Day capital of the South. The hostess city celebrating 200 years of parades. We can safely say that the Irish helped lay the foundation for the city. That is correct. That is correct, over 200 years ago. Since the early 1800s, the hostess city has honored the Irish heritage and culture with mass and a public parade through the streets. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Father Patrick O'Brien knows a thing or two about the parades. A former Grand Marshal, he moved to Savannah from Ireland back in 1969. I had the chance to sit down with him to figure out what makes March 17th special here in Southeast Georgia. Why Savannah? Why is St. Patrick's Day so special, so big here in Savannah? You must remember when the Irish left and came over here, many of them walked their way on the ships down to the south and settled in Savannah. And they had no money. They were walking their way. And so many of them, the cobblestones on River Street were laid by the Irish. So you can say Ireland's history with Savannah runs deep. But to figure out just how deep, we went to Georgia Southern. The Irish have been in Georgia really since the beginning, since the 1730s. The Associate Director for the Center for Irish Research and Teaching, Dr. Megan Dwyer Ryan says Savannah experienced tremendous migration in the 18 and 1900s. By the early 19th century with America's construction projects, the Industrial Revolution, there was a great need for manual labor. It actually, one of the first uh, celebrations was in the 1810s. It was established by the Hibernian Society, which is the oldest Irish organization in Savannah. Dr. Dwyer Ryan says with that influx of people from Ireland, it's no question the Irish started having celebrations. And since then, year after year, the St. Patrick's Day Parade becomes more spectacular and even more green. Father O'Brien has a message for anyone partaking in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. My message would be you're honoring the faith of Patrick, the faith that Patrick gave us. We're not coming for just a party. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of your ancestry. And I tell you what, Father Patrick O'Brien sums it up best. This day is about family, 
friends and faith. And yeah. again, you're going to see a lot of folks partying and, and, and carrying on, having a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But if you keep the, what the priorities are. It's about the family, friends, and faith, and that's what we're going to see once this parade steps off. You're going to see those families who have been part of this parade for generations mm -hmm. and generations. You're going to see grandfathers and sons and, and grandchildren all here, and that's really what makes this event so special. Well, and what an opportunity, Frank, to be able to sit down with Father O'Brien, and even when we were walking up yeah. from Oglethorpe Square, we saw Mass getting out, and a yeah. lot of people this morning, I'm sure, filling the cathedral, because really, like you said, such a special day and it is really based around faith it um, is so awesome awesome stuff and now we're going to turn to wjcl 22 news's lydia blackstone she is along the parade route for us checking out all the sights and sounds hanging out with the folks here in downtown savannah on this very special day here in the hostess city lydia how's it going out there We're here in the square, Lafayette Square. This is obviously prime real estate. I was out here on Thursday when people were staking their claim, and we can see why. We're going to show you what it looks like in here. It's already very lively. People are already drinking, having fun, getting ready for the parade that will come right through here. Of course, this is the square that is highly desired. It's right outside of the cathedral. People are getting excited. We've been talking to them, and we'll continue to bring you live parade coverage throughout the route. But we're here in the squares. We're having fun. We're getting things started. Back to you. That was the point of the team's call, y'all. All right, thanks so much, our Lydia Blackstone. She's going to be along the parade route all day long, and that's where you're really going to see the sights and sounds because this place is packed. So many people lined in the streets here. This entire parade route going to be uh, really fun to see just who all turns out to take in today's parade. Yeah, and uh, taking a live look right now, heading in downtown Savannah. That is definitely not a live look, but it's a no. That's the parade look route. At yeah, the, um, parade route this morning, and um, you know, obviously. Obviously, a lot of downtown Savannah completely shut down um, because this is this is where the party's at today, folks. 200th anniversary, but we are going to head over to WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson. That's right. AJ is down at Leopold's Ice Cream along Broughton Street. Of course, Broughton, one of the, the routes, one of the streets that we see on the parade route, and a lot of folks I know are lining Broughton for a chance to see all the sights and sounds from today's parade, and against Leopold's. Great place to check in all those sights and sounds. And AJ Housing shaping up out that way. All right, well, we're live here right down in front of Leopold's on Broughton Street. This is the first parade I've been a part of for St. Patrick's Day. And let me tell you, the crowds are incredible. The amount of noise, the amount of people with cheer and joy, enjoying family and friends here on St. Patrick's Day. We've actually got a lovely guest right here who may not be looking at me. She's a little excited right now, but this is Harper, right? Harper, how are you feeling today? Good. 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 You're doing good? Are you excited to be a part of the parade? So yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like all of us, all excited but a little struck out here today. Harper, thank you so much. We are having a blast out here today, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try the ice cream here in front of Leopold's in a second. I'll report back to you in a while how that is. Back to you guys. All right, AJ, thanks so much. So fun to check in with those young kiddos. And, you know, hopefully this becomes a lifelong tradition for them, as it has for many folks here in Savannah. I'll tell you what, uh, just walking around this morning, you see those kids, you see their fathers, you see their grandfathers, their fathers. Again, it's about the family and it's about the friends, and we're about to see a lot of it when this parade steps off here in just a couple seconds. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break right now, but, of course, we're going to come back, have complete full coverage of the Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade. You're watching WJCL 22. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. We are here at the 200th anniversary of Savannah's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Of course, the parade kicking off now in just minutes. And one of the people we're going to see early on in the parade is Father Patrick O'Brien. Now, earlier in our coverage, we had a chance to talk with him about what this parade means. But I tell you what, it's more about this holiday. What this day, so special in Savannah, the parade's past and present, truly magical. Let's hear more from that conversation with uh, Father Patrick O'Brien and we talk about it we know the saint patrick's day festivities the parade we know it as a family friendly event and and that's always been the irish they're family rooted they're rooted in that family they're tradition rooted and in that just... family food. see the saint patrick's day when i left ireland and i'm not sure about it today it used to be a holy day of obligation all right you had the mass and there would be a small parade and some of the biggest cities and uh, it would be celebrated. People would wear the green, of course, and we celebrated. But then when I came here, it was very much family oriented as well. I came here in 1969 and I was amazed to see, you know, the people in America of Irish descent and any, every other descent as well. Uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day in such a, a beautiful manner. Now it has grown tremendously since. Yes. But it's still rooted in, it's about in the family. fate of Patrick. See, Patrick spread that faith. Now he brought the faith to the people of Ireland. Pagan, Ireland was a pagan country. And Patrick Christianized that country and took the faith and he wasn't an Irish man. He wasn't born in Ireland. He was born elsewhere. He was just an amazing missionary as well. Simple, but amazing. And knew everyone was his friend. Patrick was just one, and his faith lives on here. A couple of weeks ago, over here when, where we celebrated the beginning of the St. Patrick's Day in Savannah, the Hibernian Society begun it and we put up a little monument over there and it's standing over there opposite the courthouse now. That's where the first parade began. When I was Grand Marshal in 1969, my motto was faith, family and friends. Now you take those out of your life and what do you have? You have nothing. No. You may have money. But if you don't have faith, you don't have family, you don't have friends. Money is of very little use to you other than survival. We're all a little Irish on St. Patrick's Day here yes, in Savannah. We are. And as long as people understand that the, the reason is that faith, that family, those friends. That's correct. Faith, family, and friends. All right, what an honor it was to catch up with Father Patrick O'Brien. I tell you what, parade getting ready to step yes. off real quick. We want to send it out to our Lydia Blackstone, who's along the parade route with some very excited folks right now as the parade gets ready to get started. How's Lydia. It going out there? Okay, we're out here. We're outside of the cathedral. Things are getting lively right now out here. We can see all the people tailgating on this side getting ready for it to come right through here. We're kind of clearing the street, but it's getting more and more packed out here outside of the cathedral, which of course is the home to a lot of St. Patrick's Day heritage. And the energy is great out here. People are just continuing to move through as it just gets livelier and livelier out here. But we're going to send it back to you, Emma and Frank. All right, thanks so much, Lydia. And of course, like we just mentioned, parade kicking off, already seeing those Savannah Police motorcycles. And um, as the rest of Savannah Police is escorting the beginning of the parade, just we've been waiting for this all morning long. And I tell you what, this has been 365 days. The, 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 the committee will tell you that they're planning year round for this moment. They've had all the breakfast. They've had all the pomps of circus. They've had yeah. the parade. You know, now it's time. We had last year. Now we go right into 2024. And again, you're talking about folks who have had to deal with a pandemic recently and now getting back to normal. Yeah. Uh, and I think they're going to really like what they see when they look 
to the left and right on this parade route because so many people have come out for today's parade and it's going to be a perfect day here in savannah again we're expecting temperatures in the low 80s the sun is shining and the green it's all over the place this morning well and as far as the weather goes we talked about it earlier this morning but hard to believe i mean it rained pretty good last yeah. night and our meteorologists have said that it's going to rain tomorrow, but here we are sunshine. So I really think St. Patrick is just blessing us today, blessing the city of Savannah for that 200th anniversary. And um, we say this every year, but hard to believe we're already back. Tell you what, the Irish eyes are smiling on Chatham County, downtown Savannah today. And again, this is Savannah's Super Bowl. We heard Mayor Van Johnson say that. This is our big day. This is our day to shine. This is the day when we uh, leave a lot of folks green with envy that they're not here with us. So I tell you what, we got the fourth degree color guard, Knights of Columbus from Savannah right here at home. We Again, you talked about the motorcycles every year, the Savannah Police Department kicking things off, and now we go right into the flags. And again, you guys see the, just a little bit of a breeze, but I tell you what, to see all those colors flapping, it is so awesome to see. And uh, guess, guess what, folks? We are underway. The 200th anniversary of Savannah's St. Patrick's Day Parade doesn't get any better than this. All the pageantry coming your way. Again, the flags of Ireland as they pass right now. And tell you what, now we're going to have our first out-of-town guest of the day. Yeah, the Limerick Pipe Band. Of course, they are here joining us from Limerick, Ireland this morning. And... They are lit, led by the pipe major, Philip Doran. So always amazing to see these bagpipes on this special day. And to have them come all the way from Ireland for our yep. parade, I mean, very, very special. And I tell you what, I love it because all week long, you've been able to hear those bagpipes. You've been able to hear the drums echoing around Savannah. Doesn't matter where you are, you've been able to hear it. And right behind the pipe band, there is the man of the day. That is this year's Grand Marshal, our good friend, John Forbes. He is the Grand Marshal, second generation Grand Marshal. His father served in this role. Love you, John. And his wife, Jennifer, and their daughter as well. A graduate of St. James Catholic School, Benedictine Military. His family, their family business, Colonial Couriers of Savannah. I tell you what, what a special day. Had a chance to see him at breakfast this morning as well. This is a once-in-a-lifetime moment for him, and I know he's soaking it up. It's been a busy but a big week for that family. And we have all of these wonderful Irish Catholic families following behind this morning. We got the whole gang and a lot of green, lots of waving, smiling faces. Always so great to see everyone on this special day. What you see now is you see a lot of the family of the Grand Marshal, the aides who serve in different capacities. And then right behind them, you're going to have Bishop Parks, uh, Bishop Emeritus Bolin. Again, now you're going to start seeing the folks who have, have paid their dues, have been part of a lot of parades here in Savannah. The Marshall's family going to come. Then you're going to start seeing a lot of the members of the committee, the folks who have been here for so many years. Uh, again, we talk about it, and we heard Father O'Brien say it. It's about the family, faith, and friends, and you're seeing it right off the bat here as we kick off this year's parade. Yeah, always so beautiful. And this is our first float right here, and it is absolutely beautiful. This is the Savannah Deanery Catholic Schools, of course, people from the schools and those kiddos up there this morning in their green. They have a beautiful float, decorated so nicely and following behind some families and a dog dressed up as a leprechaun. That I tell you no what, better. the folks at St. Peter the Apostle, <laughs> Blessed Sacrament, St. James, so many of the past Grand Marshals have come from those schools. And I guarantee you, you look at some of those young guys there on that float right now, they'll be leading this parade some years down the road. Oh, yeah. The Whitey Tidies are always great to see. The Whitey Tidies, our first band entry. And no, it's not what I'm wearing today for St. Patrick's Day. It's this band. No one needs to know what you're wearing underneath <laughs> no, your pants. No. <laughs> and on that note, let's get out to WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson. He is along the parade route at Leopold's Ice Cream. Of course, the iconic ice cream shop on Broughton Street in downtown Savannah. And AJ, I know you're a little further down waiting on the parade. How's it going out there right now? 
Welcome back to Broughton Street, where you're in front of Leopold's, where the noise is only getting more and more excited. People blowing their bugle horns across the street. It took me a while to figure out what that is, but we are joined by a special guest today. This is Mac from Bob 1069 and Rewind 1079, as well as host of the Savannah Ghost Pirates. And this, this is not your first St. Patrick's Day parade. No, it is not, and the crowd is already buzzing, and it hasn't really gotten us over to us for Leopold's. And I was just talking about how gorgeous the weather has turned out for the 200 so it's gonna be good it was a little rainy this morning and it just the skies opened up but yeah. the, we're talking about the parade here what's your favorite part about my it? my favorite I, look I, it might be the Clydesdales okay I got to see them at the game the other day and I've never seen it before. they're majestic and they're just such a they're one of many highlights of the Savannah St. Patrick's Day parade so yeah it's one of my favorites of course you've got the bands too so oh of course and everybody loves the bands and it's a grand celebration down here I've still yet to try the ice cream, but what's your favorite flavor of Leopold's ice cream? Ooh, I like cookie dough. Like cookie it. dough is my go-to, but I'm going to have to try out the Guinness ice cream. <laughs> well, you saw Kai Naveau on WJCL try it a little bit long, a while ago, but let me tell you, we're going to be down here at Leopold's the entire parade, so check back in with us, and we'll be seeing you around. Back to you guys. a great time down there on Broughton Street waiting for the parade to get down there to them. And I tell you what, while AJ was talking again, you guys got a little while before these folks get up to you guys oh, there yeah. on Broughton, but I can tell you we're seeing a lot of green now because what you're seeing is a lot of the members of the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee, their families, they're marching by right now just a second ago. We saw Father Patrick O'Brien, yeah. who we heard from in our coverage leading up to the parade. Uh, again, this is what it's about. We talk about Hey, there's Wyman. Hey, he Wyman. works with us. Yeah. Hey, Wyman. Wyman works behind the scenes with Again, us on our the family, the show. friends, the faith, and this is what it all boils down to. You have the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee here. This is the folks. These are the folks who make today yeah. happen. I mean, without them, without the entire family, I mean, you're talking about a lot of folks who are, who are out and about, meeting after meeting, getting all the plans uh set in stone and getting everything taken care of you got the wives the family the kids they're all back at home and uh some absentee family members during this time of year because these folks have been going non-stop uh for 365 but really this past week this has been non-stop and we talked about it earlier it, it's a marathon it's not a sprint <laughs> I hate going back to that cliche. Yeah, it's been a marathon for us. It's been a marathon for all the folks down here. And um, just really fun, though, to see every year this, like, sea of green. Everybody's got green on today. Yep. And um, just a lot of fun. Great to see all of these families. But it's one of, the, one of those things I feel like everyone's kind of family here on yeah. St. Patrick's Day in downtown Savannah. And, again, if you, if you see somebody you don't know, you quickly become friends. Yeah. I know. I think I... Made you, a lot of you've friends. made all kinds of friends. I, I have a lot of friends this morning. Yeah, and I tell you what, it's everybody offering you something to eat, something to drink. <laughs> they give you a hug. Uh, they, you know, I've watched the beads being passed around, oh, everything yeah. else. So even this morning, I've already got an Irish princess uh, necklace. Which you beads. so kindly gave to a little girl. Which yeah, is because very I got nice some street cred. I can't be sporting the, uh, the Irish princess necklace all day long. So I gave those beads to a young lady. But that's what you see every square you go through. I got through. these beads from my friend Colin that I interviewed this morning. See? So yeah, 13 awesome. year old Colin here from Florida. So, that's, um, that's and awesome. he said, I think he put it perfectly. He was talking about, I asked him about the rushing the squares and I said what did you think of it and he said well I was told that uh, you either move or you be moved so he, he knew he was like I got to get out of the way <laughs> and we do want to mention that we do have so many town uh, out of town guests and as you can see behind us right now you have the Wexford contingent the Limerick contingent yep. we heard the band a little bit earlier but again Savannah rolls out the red carpet we roll out the green carpet this time of year let's put it that way oh, yeah as we bring in so many out of town guests and I just think that it is so awesome we have guests that come from Ireland here for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking at that float that's coming down right now, I mean, it, they have their Limerick flags, and it's just, I mean, the fact that people from Ireland come to Savannah, Georgia, yeah. where, I mean, Ireland is the home to all of this, yep. and um, just amazing stuff. Just shows you how special it is 
here in our area. And again, we're seeing those families coming through, and that's what you're going to see early on each parade. You see those families who have been part of this parade, been part of this community for generation after generation. And again, the same people we're going to see next year. Oh, yeah. And guess what? We're going to see those same folks 50 years from now. They may look a little bit older, and they may have their own children, but we're going to see it. But that's what makes it special. It's just yeah, that family. And I've seen so many people that, you know, before doing this thing, I did sports. So, so many folks who have come up through Benedictine Military School yeah. and, and all the other schools here in Savannah, and now they have their own kids, and their own kids are taking part in the parade. And it's just amazing to watch and to be part of this community because today is a reunion of sorts. Today is not just a holiday. It's not a parade. It's not a chance to go down and drink with your buddies. This is a reunion. It's one day a year where we're all Irish and we're all celebrating that heritage right here in Savannah. I will never stop saying it. One of the best days here in Savannah. I love it every year. Um, the energy is contagious yep. and it's just been so much fun to see people, to meet people yep. and um, every year it just seems to get better and better. And I tell you what, the parade just getting started, we can tell you a little over 300 entries in this yeah. year's parade. Amazing. So the 200th anniversary going pretty big this year. So we're going to bring you all the sights and sounds as we move throughout the morning and then go into the early afternoon. Right now, we do want to take a quick break, but when we return, much more of Savannah's 200th anniversary of the Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade. Also, remember, you can catch this whole parade. Tell your friends if they're out of town, download that very local app. They can watch it right now as well, no matter where they are. Heck, if you got family and friends in Ireland, tell them to join the party. We're here all morning long. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the 200th Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade. We are live here in downtown Savannah. Good morning. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Sulkowski. We're watching the families roll by. Yes. We're seeing a, a good segment of the uh, past Grand Marshals here. We just saw Dr. Frank Rossiter, mm -hmm. 2008 Grand Marshal from Frank Rossiter. We go right into the Hibernian Society. And again, there he is. Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Again, you're starting to see some familiar faces now as we mm -hmm. visit with the past uh, Grand Marshals, their aides, and, and the families who have been part of this parade for so, so long. But the Hibernian Society, uh, Patrick Rossiter, 
leading the charge here with that group. Yeah, amazing stuff and just so great to see, you know, all of these families, all of these people and just such a happy day here in the city. And really, I, I mean, I keep saying it, but the energy is kind of just electric. Yep. What I love about this is now I'm starting to see all the Grand Marshals because I'm going on 20 years here in Savannah. So I'm going on to the Grand Marshals who I've seen over the years. And yeah. here's another one. You got Denny Herb. Dennis Herb, past uh, Grand Marshal from 2010. There he is looking good as he's in a little Volkswagen bug I there and all his the family bug. members yeah. behind. Hey, all good. The Herb Clan good looking St. good Patrick's this morning. Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> yeah, see, again, it's all about family, and the four-legged family are here as well. That's oh. a, that is an, that, that wiener dog has been to a lot of parades. Yeah, his little legs are making his <laughs> making its way down <laughs> Abercorn. <laughs> Another pass, uh, Grand Marshal, of course, Walter Crawford. That's from 2011. Yep. And his family all walking behind. Happy St. Patrick's Day, y'all. See, the little ones, they start them young here, and they, they already got the fashion sense. Oh, yeah, all the green, just some really sweet outfits. And now we roll right into James Ray, 2013. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Hugh Coleman. He's 2015 Grand Marshal, member of the uh, Savannah Police Department since uh, he was 18 years old. That's amazing. So you got these lifers. Uh, yeah, well, and I mean, the Grand Marshal, Savannah Police Department, just very involved here in our community. Yep. And then we, we talk about it. We love when the bands are taking part, and, and we have another one here, the Golden Eagle Band from University of North Georgia up in Dahlonega. Uh, again, Dahlonega is such a beautiful place, so it's good to have our friends from North Georgia down to take part in the festivities with us here this morning. And before we head over to our Lydia Blackstone, who's along the parade route, I got to give a shout out to Mike Foran, 2016 Grand Marshal. And you know what? They call me the big guy, not compared to Mike Foran. He is truly the big guy here in Savannah. So good to see him. Mike, happy St. Patrick's Day, brother. Again, his family behind him. Yeah, I, I don't hold a candle to that big guy. He's a legit big guy. No, yeah, he, he might be the big guy yeah. of Savannah, yeah. but you know, we'll, we'll give you a close second, but that's it, okay. It's fine. I'll take second to Mike Ford anyway, <laughs> there's no doubt. We're going to check in now with WJCL 22 News' is Lydia Blackstone. She's along the parade route for us, and Lydia, how's it going down on the ground? Yeah, we're out here on the parade route. We just heard the beautiful sound of the bagpipes. If you're from Scotland or Ireland, like me, you love it. Uh, it was a great sound, and now the Grand Marshal, he's making his way up to the cathedral, doing some handshakes there. But I'm here on the side of the road with some very excited people. Jess, you got into full character. We've been talking. Show me the box. Tell me why you did that. I love this. My Aunt Dee made this for me, and they're after me lucky charms. I love it, and I love your outfit. You're really bringing it today, getting into this spirit. Everyone here is enjoying it. And once again, you hear the beautiful sound. A through Abercorn Street. the Grand Marshal and his family right there making their way through. All right, thanks so much, Lydia. And it looks like Grand Marshal just got to Lydia. And so the parade's rolling along for her too. And right now we are seeing more yeah, the, and more families. We just saw BMI. Yeah. Now we got the Sinn Féin Society. Sinn so Fein, yeah. uh, these guys have been around for so long. <laughs> they have um, people on a stick. Do they got know? fat heads. Do you know, so what yeah, they're doing do you know is, who those girls are? Yeah, those are fat heads. Those are from family members who can't be here today. <laughs> That's but awesome. They are actually here. Happy St. Oh, Patrick's here. Day, y'all. <laughs> so again, that's one of the things that we see. Not, I don't, not everybody I don't can know. get back. I know, but I don't know if I've ever seen the fat head thing. And I really like, maybe I should get you a fat head of me. Uh, this, this, it's already what? fat enough. I don't, I don't need oh, to help. No, I was saying of me, not oh, of you. Oh, no. 
I'll <laughs> carry you with you wherever I go. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm off. Just hey, put, yeah, put me in like, the chair. Where's Emma at? Well, here she is. There's a fat head of Emma. <laughs> Sinn Fein, of course, so active in the community. Yeah. Do so much, not just this time of year, but all year long, giving back. And that's what you start seeing. A lot of these societies, these groups, uh, folks who have been around for a long time, they join those groups, those clubs. Yeah. And it, it's, it's more than a social club. Uh, again, oh, yeah. they're giving back to the communities in so many ways. No, exactly. A lot of groups like that in this parade. Yeah. And, um, and as we watch... Uh, Imagine that. There's going to be a little gap here because the folks from uh, Guinness, they're probably down there doing Irish car bombs right now. Well, yeah, and, you know, Guinness, of course, from Dublin. <laughs> and um, this is kind of, I would say, like Guinness's day. Yep. Um, but, yeah, the Irish, those car bombs definitely uh, very popular on this day. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a very popular. But before we get to Guinness, we do have another uh, past grand marshal. And that is uh, yep. yeah, Mike Roush Sr. from 2020. So, more recently, he was during the pandemic. During one of COVID, those. So, yeah. So that, I guess that was the first parade that was yeah. canceled. Because yeah. we didn't have 2020 or 2021. Yeah. So. And again, we're talking about the 200th anniversary of this St. Patrick's yeah. Day parade. That doesn't mean we've had 200 parades. No, we, we had to need, take a little break. Yeah, there's been breaks for wars. Mm -hmm. There's been breaks for uh, pandemics. Which could kind of be a war within itself. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so yeah, there have been times where this hasn't been able to, to take place. So uh, th the fact that we're here today, being able to enjoy it, that's something to be thankful for. Absolutely, no, so special. And um, our third time, of course, being here, yep. broadcasting and hosting the parade and just such a special day. And um, yeah, there's, there's that Guinness. There they are, they're dancing. Anytime there's a dancing oh, beer, and, I'm all look, for and, it. And green people. Green guys. In Sure. You, you should have done that today. That's what happens when you drink too much Guinness. It's <laughs> exactly. I've turned green on, on many occasions after drinking Guinness. too many Irish car bombs. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being frank. I mean, You're just being frank. Yep. And there's the 2022 Grand Marshal, of course, Danny Powers and his whole family. Great to see them. Happy St. Patrick's Day, you guys. Good morning. And I got to say, the past Grand Marshals, they have the smoothest rides in the parade. Oh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. The smoothest, the coolest. The cool, yeah. Like, they to always, be in those convertibles, you know, yeah. it's not about just, it's not just for the beauty queens. It's for the past grand marshals as well, riding in style. We were saying earlier, walking up from Oglethorpe Square, we needed we needed one of those. <laughs> yeah, at that point, we needed anything. We a rickshaw. A little, we took, yeah. A little, I, we would have hopped on some, the back of somebody's bicycle. I mean, somebody could have given me a piggyback ride and I would have taken it going, I mean, seven miles already today. So I know, I'm morning. pretty impressed with you. Get my steps in. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out to WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson. Of course, he's live down on Broughton Street in front of the iconic Savannah Leopold's ice cream shop. Uh, I don't know if the parade's just there to you yet, AJ, probably not. Of course, you're further down, but uh, how's it going out there? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're starting to hear more of the parade coming behind us, but before we even get there, we have a special guest that wanted to join us today. This is Anastasia with her green glasses. Tell me, she can only see green right now. This is your first parade, are you excited? I'm <laughs> really excited. You can. I heard that you're good at jokes. Yeah. Do you have a joke on hand for us? Really, really, really funny. Yeah. Is that really funny? Well, go ahead. What is it? How many trees I have in my backyard? How many trees do you have in your back? How many? Three. You heard it here, folks. That was the most incredible joke. <laughs> that was incredible. These guys, this is their first parade. They moved here from Venezuela five or six years ago. What are you most looking forward to? Well, you know, the emotion of it, to see how green it's going to be, to see the green river, like everybody said. That's pretty much it. Well, I can tell you right now, they're excited for the parade. Take a look. It just turned around the corner. Everybody's excited. Oh, Anastasia has something to say. Holy macaroni, mountain with cheese! <laughs> ah, well, you heard it there, folks. The parade just started. Guy down to bra and sh All right, our AJ Sisson making some new friends down there, and looking like the parade is just now getting to him. We just saw Savannah police. 
um, coming down Broughton Street. So. Yeah, and we've been going for uh, about 30 minutes now, just yeah. under 30 minutes. We just saw the Rockland County Police Emerald Society uh, coming down from New York to be part of that, and that band is made up of police officers in the New York metro area. Let's put it this way, some very talented police I officers. Just, yeah, I just love the bagpipes. Like I There is too. nothing better than that on this day, and we've heard them all week. I um, saw on social media that they were down um, at McDonough's the other night, yeah. so um, when I was fast asleep already. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think you're doing any late nights, and I, I saw a group of them. They were at McDonough's the night before. Yep. Then the next morning they were getting up, making appearances, and then the next night they were going to be out on Tybee, and they were going to be a late night there. So I don't know if uh, if a lot of the, uh, the the visitors from out of town playing the bags and uh, and and the drums, the bagpipes and drums, got much sleep this week. Yeah, but no I'm, kidding. But definitely seeing all that Savannah and Chatham County has to offer. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's looking like right here we have the veteran of the year i cannot see his last name on yeah, there yeah that is tim, tim? ansley okay, past grand marshal as well yeah 2012 so you know been over 10 years since yep. he's been the grand marshal but so great to that all of these grand marshals get to still you know be involved yeah. with the parade and that's the other thing that i love about this parade too they they honor they celebrate the military we're going to see the third ID coming up here. Of course, it's been Navy week all week as well. Yeah. So again, this they really honor and recognize the military, the active uh, service members, the, the retired as well. The veteran of the year here in 2023, Tim Ansley, past Grand Marshal 2012, uh, graduated from Benedictine back in 1964, U.S. Army 1966, parade committee, how about this? 55 wow. years. That's amazing. And we talk about that family. Yeah. Raised six children, 11 grandchildren to spoil. And he's been married to his lovely wife, Gail, for 37 years. So definitely, you know, a lot of family history there. Um, great to see. I mean, he's got he's, those have got to be the grandkids on that float right there because, you know, between six kids, 11 grandkids, you got a big family there. And um, just so special to be able to spend the day all together and honoring him for all the work that he's done. Yeah. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, we're going to start seeing things slow down a little bit. I've, I've been around enough of these parades to tell you we're just before the parade goes into the first square. Yes. So what happens is navigating those squares can be a challenge for a lot of these large groups. So what you're going to start seeing is that blazing uh, pace coming out the gate it slows just a little bit because yeah. when you get that many people going into these squares, things are going to slow down just a little bit. So as you can see, we do have a minute where things have kind of slowed down considerably, which is a perfect time for us to step away for a quick Yeah, second. I was going to say, you know, as the parade slows down a little bit, we're going to take a quick break. But of course, we're going to be right back here on WJCL 22 with the 200th anniversary of the Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade. And don't forget, as always, you can stream us live on the very local app. Tell your family, tell your friends that aren't here in Savannah. They can watch this amazing day here in the Hostess City from anywhere. We'll be right back.
Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to WJCL 22. We are here in downtown Savannah for the 200th anniversary of the St. Pa Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Solkowski. We're going to continue to paint the picture and share with you this special day in Savannah. It is uh, our day, our chance to leave everyone green with envy. And I tell you what, a lot of people jealous when you see one of our next uh, floats coming down. I don't know. That's wow. not a float. No. Those are just really big horses. Yeah. You know what? The Budweiser Clydesdales, you're going to be able to see them in just a little bit. There you go. There is a live look at them. They are, as we've heard all week, gentle giants. Yep. They have not been here in the Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade since 2018. Our Kyra Neveau, he got to go live with them yep. this week. And just so fun to see. I mean, they are majestic, yep. beautiful animals. And I tell you what, they're going to they're, they're getting their money's worth here in our area. Tomorrow, they'll be in the Hilton Head St. Patrick's Day yeah. Parade as well. But just take a look. And I love the Dalmatian I, I, I as know. Well. I was just going to say, I can't remember his name. but We'll call him Spot. Yeah. Look <laughs> at them. Oh. Uh, and I tell you what, all week long, everybody's had a chance to get up close and personal. They've been at historic Grayson Stadium. Uh, they've made an appearance at the uh, Savannah Ghost Pirates as well, been out and about. And I tell you what, they, it never gets old seeing the Clydesdales. They are so iconic, and it's great to have them back in Savannah for this year's parade. You know what? I actually don't think I've ever seen them in person before. Really? Yeah, so that's kind of special for me, too, being able to – see them I mean we obviously we saw them on TV this week when Kai had them on the show but um, you don't realize how big they are until you see them in person I think <laughs> I've been around them a good bit in fact uh, just last year uh, the same group came to Georgia Southern oh, before yeah. one of the Georgia Southern games yep. and had a chance to come out as well so I got to be up close with them and last time they were here for St. Patrick's Day as well and I'm telling you what it, it is just one of those all I mean, just to take it in and be around them because those are those are more famous than I'll ever be. We see them on commercials. They've been on during the Super Bowl. They've been around the world. Uh, and, again, to have them here in Savannah, so special. And, again, to our friends over on Hilton Head there in the Low Country, they're coming your way tomorrow for your yep. St. Patrick's Day celebration as well. Exactly, yeah. And um, just a great day here. Um, it's been amazing to see yep. everybody here in the parade. And just it seems like it keeps getting bigger and bigger every year that we do this. Yeah, and I tell you what a lot of times you start seeing the same clans the same families we see the hennessy matthews clan they'll be coming up here in just a second uh, but it's great to watch your neighbors your friends grow watching these families they add so many you start having the children who grow up they have their own children yep. and then they're in there you start next year you'll see a stroller and a little <laughs> baby in green and it's amazing and there the cheering you're hearing is for the <laughs> The poop pickup. The poop pickup. Somebody. It's All a right, dirty job. Up. There he is. It's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. And we're going to give him his props this morning. Yeah, he because, should get props. Yeah, he's the guy who rides in a golf cart behind the Clydesdales. <laughs> and big horses, well, they create big, big messes. Poops. Big poops. Big yes. poops. <laughs> and so somebody has to clean it up. <laughs> and uh, that's who that you just heard that applause for, and, and rightfully so. He deserves a big round of applause because, again, we're just at the first part of the parade. Yep. He's got a lot of number two to pick up hey, as he makes his way yes, around Savannah. he does. Nope, he does. And we are looking right now. This is the Hennessy Matthews clan. Their looking family, good here on a yeah, Saturday. They look great this morning. They got their four-legged buddy following behind them and a beautiful float also coming. Happy St. Patrick's well. Day. You have the walking clan, and then you have the Matthew, uh, the Hennessy Matthews who also have a float as well. So, again, you have some folks who are, like, brave to walk the entire parade route. And then you have others who are going to ride in style here uh, this morning. And just behind them, you have the Groves High School Marching Band, of course, Garden City's own Groves Rebels. We're going to stop it up, let you take a little listen to them a little bit because the Groves Marching Band, the pride of Garden City. Take a listen. you want to be a drum major to be leading the charge 
that's a tall task to be dancing the entire way, but Groves, the Rebels, they never disappoint representing Garden City so well here this morning. A lot of talented kids, for sure. I tell you what, now might be a good time to send it over to our Lydia Blackstone, who is reporting live from along the parade route. And Lydia, where are you? What you see in your way? All right, we're going to get back to Lydia here in just a second again uh, and find out what she's seeing. And I, as we can see, she's finding some very rowdy fans uh, and spectators here for this parade. So we come back here to uh, – we, we, this is awesome because we get to see everything first. And so here are our good friends from St. Joseph's Candler. Great to see them here. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Love the float. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Look how beautiful that float is. Wow. You got – some Savannah landmarks there. 200 parades indeed. St. Joseph's Candler. Wow. What an amazing looking float they have. And just behind them, the Irish Heritage Society. Great representation here this morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Right now, we're about 60 entries into the parade. So just to give you an idea of just how many we have coming your way here, we over have about 300, 309 yeah, I was gonna entries say, over, this year. Over 300, so it is going to be a, a long parade and a special celebration for the 200th anniversary. And again, this is, uh, this is your one day. You have 364 days to sleep and prepare for this day. <laughs> you can suck it up for one day. And folks have been, we talked about it, some folks have been here since earlier this week camping out in those squares to get some yeah. prime real estate, those prime spots to watch this parade. Now, they were kicked out last night at 6, mm -hmm. but we found that many of them just moved to the, the sidewalk. And then when 6 o'clock, or in our case, when we saw at Oglethorpe Square. The rush. Yeah, yeah the, the rush that happened maybe three minutes before, you find those spots and then you enjoy the parade. and. Hopefully, uh, people are staying hydrated today yeah, because it's I going to be a warm so. day. It was a muggy start to the morning. We did see a little bit of rain, but as you can see, the sun is shining, and it is just a beautiful moment. And I tell you what, before we get to our Lydia Blackstone, do want to give a special shout-out to Legacy Irish Dance. Are these the dancers yes. that came on the show yesterday? All right. Yeah. I, I unfortunately missed them but got to see it on Twitter, and they were amazing. And then our own Catherine Laverna, she still got it. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, and, and we talked to some of those young ladies who are part of Legacy Irish Dance, and they said they were looking forward to, to being out here and being able to dance and walk with the young ones. As you can see, they start them young. They learn that Irish dancing, and they just pass it on from generation to generation. Yeah, and our own Catherine Liberta, she's a champion Irish dancer. It was amazing to see. She can do it all, folks. She can Irish dance. She can do the weather. She is a very talented gal. But on that note, I want to get out to another talented gal. RWJCL 22 News is Lydia Blackstone down along the parade route for us. Lydia, it looks like you've been having a ton of fun. How's everybody doing out there right now? We're out here with what on her in Albuquerque Street with what y'all say is the best tent ever? Absolutely! Yeah. Having oh, lots of fun. My name. Oh, nice, What's your favorite part of today? Meeting you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> well, keep checking in with us here along the parade. We'll send it back to you and Frank. All right, Lydia, thanks so much. Looks like she found also a lot of friends. Like we kind of mentioned earlier, everybody's friends and family here on this day. Yeah, and again, you're going to you're gonna find things out about your neighbors that you may not have known because you're going to get up close and personal with them. You're going to be here for many hours. Mm -hmm. uh, the older folks are going to consume some adult beverages and uh, just, a, just a great chance to fellowship. That's what I'll say. I, I'm not going to talk about all the other stuff. It's, it's a chance to fellowship, and uh, again, it's a long day. Uh, you start early, early, and they're going to be here late, late, 
Some are going to be here late into tomorrow night as yeah. well. That's the thing. When you have a weekend St. Patrick's Day, yeah. it, it doesn't turn into a day. It turns into a, a festival of sorts. Yeah. And that's what we're going to see this year. There's nothing wrong with that. No. You know, we can celebrate here yeah. in Savannah, and it makes it even better that it's on a Saturday. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned that. You, I mean, I know you've done this for a long time, but this might be the most people you've seen here in downtown Savannah. It's one of the largest crowds I've seen. And again, I, I haven't been able to go count everybody, yeah. <laughs> but uh, just from what I can see, this is going to be one of the larger crowds uh, we've seen in the past 20 years. There's no doubt. There's those dancers right in the front. She was on the show with Catherine yesterday. She is going to the world championships, that young lady. So yeah, leading the way. And no, our Catherine Liberta is not with them this morning. But they are killing it. They Look are at all killing. of them. They are. Those young girls and boys, I love it. And Legacy, we've seen the Irish dancers for, for many years here in Savannah. Just behind them, you're going to see one of the newest entries this year and one of our newest neighbors here in southeast Georgia, the folks from Hyundai. Yeah, and right in front of them is the Robert Evich Award, those folks. And then, yeah, like Frank just mentioned, Hyundai, they are taking part in this year's parade, of course. Some of our newest friends here in our area bringing that big meta plant out to Bryan County and uh, just going to create so many jobs, so many new people that are going to be here in our in the beautiful area that we are lucky enough to already call home. I tell you what, Hyundai really setting the tone with their first float here in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. If you take a look at it, it captures the Savannah Oaks are represented there, the Fountain and City Hall as well. You see that gold dome there it's behind it. It's so gorgeous. It is amazing. Also included, paying homage to the waving girls, symbolizing the warm welcome Hyundai has received since they set up shop out in Bryan County. And folks, we're not going to we're, we're not going to just give you lip service. What this means, what this plant means, what Hyundai means to Southeast Georgia, it is a true game changer. So many jobs. Uh, we're going to see we're already seeing it in our communities. A, a lot of growth here, uh, especially in our local area, Chatham, Bryan, Effingham, Bullock, Liberty seeing so much growth already and it's great to have hyundai now part of our community well and it's a big deal that they wanted to come you know here to southeast georgia yep. um it's just really really special our area just booming it, it is boomtown indeed it is boomtown indeed and if you need any indication of just how big that plant is just how big this addition is right along i-16 you're going to see oh, right there yeah. uh, near black creek just how big that facility is and then all the other facilities that are popping up in Bryan and Effingham, all those companies that are going to be supporting what Hyundai does. So again, it is so awesome to have them already part of our community and see, we're taking part in this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade and tell you what, that is a very impressive first float. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I wouldn't even want to take it apart. No. But um, we are going to take just a quick break. We'll, of course, be right back with complete full coverage of the 200th anniversary of St. Patrick's Day here in Savannah. You are watching WJCL 22. We'll be right back. <laughs> 